Mach 3, now as low as 10 bucks. Gillette. Look outside of the Peterson Event Center in Pittsburgh. You're watching ACC Network Extra in tonight's game between the 3-1 Pitt Panthers, led by senior Michael Young out of the ACC, and the 2-1 Yale Bulldogs out of the Ivy League. Jeff Hathorne and Curtis Aiken. Yale coming off a loss at Virginia. The Panthers down 15 to Marquette, but won that game in Madison Square Garden. What impressed you most about that one, Curtis? Chris Jones is what impressed me most. I mean, obviously, Chris Jones played solid offensively. Five for seven from the field, three for three for the line, but his energy defensively, I think, helped lift his team up. And collectively, Jeff, as a group, the second half was solid defensively. Panthers led by Michael Young with 30 points in that game. He is now the two time ACC Player of the Week, 24 points, eight rebounds a game. And Sam Downey, 14 points, nearly five rebounds. He was the first week Ivy League Player of the Week for the Yale Bulldogs. Well, we had a chance to talk to Coach James Jones before the game, and I asked him who his go-to guy was. He said he didn't have a go-to guy. But, Jeff, I tell you what, when Downey has the basketball in his hands, they're a much better team. See the Pitt Panthers coming out for the tip against the Yale Bulldogs. Panthers go with their traditional starting lineup as we get ready for tip between Downey and Sheldon Jeter. It's the Panthers at 3-1 and one and the Bulldogs at 2-1 and one as we get set to go here in Pittsburgh. Tap won easily by Jeter and point guard Jamel Artis over to Chris Jones. Ron Grover, Jeff Pawn, Ron Tyberski are your officials. You see Yale in the traveling blue and the Panthers in the home white. Doesn't surprise me that Yale comes right out into a man to man defense. Very disciplined defensively, weak side help all the time. It's almost cliche to say this, but Yale is not a team that normally beats itself. Young keeps that hot shooting going. You know, how much how much improved this he is in that in that area. I mean, guys are stepping off of him and he's knocking it down with regularity. You know, crosses the timeline. Panthers fall back into a straight up man to man. See Trey Phil's there handling the basketball. Downey gets it over to Reynolds. Who, the drive of the lane, knocked out of bounds. Will be Panther basketball. Well, it's a tough shot for Reynolds. He shot it off the, the opposite foot. It's a tough shot to go down as you take a look at Coach James Jones. What a great job he's been doing so far. Big upset, as you mentioned, against Washington. Third most wins of any coach in Ivy League history. You saw he's the best as far as percentage in school history in conference play. They're 12-0 at home last year. Good look inside, but a better block by Yale. Here come the Bulldogs, led by Mia Oni. They're a team where three guys can handle the ball. Downey prefers to go down low, and Reynolds can handle it if needed. It's typical Yale basketball, very disciplined. They're not looking to shoot a quick shot, looking for the best shot. Good deflection by Jeter. The drive, ball knocked away and controlled by Jamel Artis. Artis to Young. Young to Artis, and he drives, misses. Downey the rebound for the Bulldogs. 2-0 pit here early on at the Peterson Events Center. The Panthers so far have already missed two point blank layups that should have gone down for them. Fifteen on the shot clock. Panthers will switch it up and play a little zone, but they're playing man here. A wild shot by Dallier, and here comes Chris Jones. He drives, kicks. Young's jumper from the side, no good. And rebound again. No second chance points so far for the Panthers. Good rebounding from Yale. Well, in large part because Yale is going to stay home. All five guys are going to stay home until they come up with the basketball. Phils fakes the three. Dallier, who grew up watching many games in this building. Spin, kick. Phils, five on the shot clock, drives and rejected. Cam Johnson collects the loose ball. Still just one bucket so far. Johnson from three. And that's no good. Dowyer the rebound. Some injuries for the Bulldogs. A couple of freshmen and what likely would be the Ivy League player of the year and Makai Mason out for the year. Yeah. 
Well, Downey is going to be the guy for this team as they move forward in the, into the uh, to lead play. Mia Oni hits the three, and the Bulldogs have a 3-2 lead. Two teams that can light up the scoreboard, but slow going for the offenses early on. Panthers shooting 16%. And now worse, but an offensive rebound by Mike Young. Spin, layup rejected by Downey. Good defense from the Bulldogs. It has been, good help defense. They pinched down on the block as soon as Mike got the ball. Kick out. Dowier as Bulldogs work it around the perimeter. They just kind of allow off. you to sleep and hope that you make a mistake defensively so they can exploit it. Five on the shot clock. Hand off to Phils in the corner in front of the pit bench. Wild turnaround, no good. Rebound to Mike Young. Young to Artis. Artis is going to drive the lane and lay it up and in. Panthers back in the lead. That often that you see that your five guard starts to face fast break and your point guard ends the fast break. Good push by Mike Young. Spot of a three, Downey, down low, working it against Artis. Turnaround jumper is good. Downey with the nice post up, fade away. So a couple of consecutive hoops. Let's go, After some misses early on by both teams. Young, head fake, over to Jones. Jones, Artis for three. No good, rebound fought for and controlled by Blake Reynolds. Dahlia is going to push it, stop, and kick. Reynolds. Downey, left the floater, no good. Rebound to Jeter. And Mike Young into the paint. He's going to drive on Downey. No foul, gets his own offensive rebound. And Mike nice. Young. Nice Young. Mike Young with the putback, stayed with it. Young with four points, three rebounds already. The Panthers, I mean, Young has obviously put the ball in the basket, but they just don't look solid on the offensive end, look a little out of sync. Dahlia misses, and our first foul of the game will go on the Bulldogs. Panthers lead it 6-5 against the Yale Bulldogs. As you see the block by Jeter, and then coming the other way by Jones, and Artis lays it up, hit up by one. Panthers have a one-point lead over the Yale Bulldogs. Three and six game mini packages for the men's basketball season are now on sale. Choose from exciting home games including North Carolina, Syracuse, and Louisville while saving off the individual ticket price. Reserve your mini package today by calling the Panthers ticket office at 800-643-PITT. That's 800-643-7488 or visit us at pittsburghpanthers.com. A good close look at head coach Kevin Stallings. Tom Richardson there as well. We see Cam Johnson and the Panthers and both teams identical from the floor right now as far as percentage, Curtis. Well, I, I, I tell you, the Panthers are, I believe, 3 for 12 from the floor and 0 for 3 from three-point range. I mean, they, they've really gotten some good looks that just haven't gone down and just don't seem to be in sync offensively yet. Also 25% for Yale as Ryan Luther has checked in for the Panthers. He gets the ball down low, unable to finish. Tap controlled by... Well, it was knocked while touching it. It's Cam Johnson. Kevin Stallings in his 24th season, 458 wins. Well, he's solid, and we enjoyed meeting with him today. He gave us a lot of good information about this team. He says, 
He's not really sure how this team is going to respond tonight. He liked what he saw at least the second half of the Marquette game defensively, but he obviously wants that to carry over to the night. On that last possession, Cam Johnson stepping out of bounds, which is why we had the whistle. Dallier kicks it back out. Three on the shot clock. Good look, good run of the shot clock, and the Bulldogs end up with a layup and a lazy turnover. Jump shot right there. Panthers commit the turnover, and Alex Copeland makes some pay. Well, no question about that, and that's one of the things that this Yale team would do. If you turn the ball over, you have to get back in transition and be disciplined on defense because they look to convert. So Copeland in for the Bulldogs. You saw Luther and Justice Kithcart, number five, the freshman in. Luther down low. Good moves, but better defense. See the shot clock winding. Luther looking to drive, has it knocked away. Stifling defense so far for the Bulldogs. Mills drives, blocked by Luther out of bounds. Will be Yale basketball, 23 to go on the clock. Well, this turnover with, the turnover with Luther really started because he passed up a really good shot that he had in the corner. Try to get into the lane, but the, the reality is he had an open look, as you saw. That's the inbound turnover. Mike Young throw the ball away. To Kithcart, and it's good anticipation by Copeland. And Artis makes him pay on the ensuing tip. Artis drives. What body control by Jamel Artis. He lays it up and in. Beautiful display of athleticism. You can see his reach and able to knock that ball away. And the Panthers trail by one. Crossover by Oni. He gets the ball back against Luther for three. Right there, pretty touch from Luther, Oni. Luther, Luther was a little slow on the closeout. Oni two of two from three, and it's a four-point lead. Cam Johnson drives. Wild righty shot, but Mike Young right there. The rebound and the opportunity for a three-point play by Mike Young. <laughs> We saw an inbound play, a careless play by the Panthers, and Jamel Artis takes care of an inbound right here, Curtis. He did a nice job of getting his hands in there and excellent body control to finish. And Young finishes the three-point play. Young, seven points, six rebounds, and we're just seven and a half minutes into the game. Well, you know, it's just the second week in a row being the co-player of the year the first week and second week player of the week, I should say, not of the year, uh, all alone, and he's picking up where he left off against Marquette. Austin Williams has checked in for Yale, has a basketball right there. Chris Jones with Jeter, Artis, Kithcart, and Luther. You see the drive and the kick. First opportunity, missed by Williams. Here come the Panthers, Artis. Pushes it to Kithcart. Kithcart's going to drive the lane quickly. No good. Luther went up for the rebound off his hand and controlled by Mione. He went down low and turns it over looking for Downey. We see James Jones talking to his team and saying, why would you make a play like that? We're in control. Look at the effort here from Mike Young to finish. But Yale has the lead, 12-11. Beard hair can be as strong as copper wire. The Gillette Mach 3 is precision engineered to cut hair this tough. No wonder it has the world's number one selling blades. Mach 3, now as low as 10 bucks. Gillette. We'll need you guys to redo all that work. Oh, that's, okay. that's not good, no. Whatever it takes. We're really running into some oh. issues here. What? What? Yeah! <laughs> can you believe this? on mute, right? Yale holds a one point lead as you look at the Yale bench. We look at the impact players for tonight's game and Mike Young already seven points and six rebounds and an assist. And Curtis Downey doing the same type of thing for the Yale Bulldogs. No, no question, he's capable of exploding. I mean, I've already had some outstanding games in his career against NJIT. Has perfect from the field, five for five and six to six from the free throw line, a perfect night offensively, and that doesn't happen often on any level. And Downey, 22.7 rebounds in the win at Washington. That's a game where they led Washington by 20 in the first half without your best player, and Yale came out to play. They've come out to play so far 
here in Pittsburgh in the first half. Well, more importantly, they finished him off on the road. Luther, Jones, Jeter, Kithcart, Artis. You see Artis, the crossover for the Bulldogs. Dowier, Copeland, along with Oni right there. Downey misses, is defending, and the miss by Jeter on the three, and the Panthers 0 for 4 from beyond the arc. Well, Mike Young is getting a break right now, but you won't see him out very long. Much needed break, I might add, Jeff. <laughs> 10 on the shot clock and a quick drive. Good move by Copeland. Copeland did a nice job of turning that corner. Copeland had a career high 20 against Lehigh, the sophomore out of Los Angeles. Jones from the foul line, the floater goes. Nice body control by Chris Jones there. High arcing jump shot. You mentioned in the pregame, Jones had an important role in that Panther win against Marquette. And he did it with a huge blister on his foot. They really bugged him in the first half, but adrenaline kept him going in the second. Kick out, 10 on the shot clock. Three pointer, and it's been the Copeland show for the Bulldogs. Well, he's Copeland showing that he can seven he, off the bench. He's capable of knocking it down outside, but he gets a chance to set his feet. It's going down. Perfect three of three from the field. Panthers trailing by four at home. Artis drives. Little out of control, no foul call. Good defense from Yale. And quickly the other way to Williams. Williams, as Jeter goes up and over Williams. Hopefully he's all right. Jeter appears to be okay, the foul on Jeter. Well, that was a tough unit that he has in, as you see uh, Mike Young as well as uh, Cam Johnson checking back into the game. Not many people that can score the basketball in that game, uh, as you see Sheldon Jeter. So it's the original starting five. Shake off a potential injury, but they didn't really have anyone that could put the ball in the basket other than Artis. Uh, Jeter's struggling right now from the outside. and Reynolds is back in, and also in for Yale is Eric Anderson. The three-pointer by Mia Oni. The biggest lead of the game for the Bulldogs at 20 to 13. It's one thing we've seen from Kevin Stallings he allows his team to play through runs as opposed to call timeouts. At least that's what we've seen in the first few games. Play through adversity. Johnson drives, righty shot, no good. And Kevin Stallings did an eye roll as he spun around. Yeah, that's not the shot that they wanted. And Seven point lead for the Bulldogs. And Copeland's played a big part in that number three. That's Mike Young guarding him. Oni for three. That one's no good. Rebound to Cam Johnson. Johnson had to fight for that rebound. Over to Artis. Back to Cam Johnson into Young. Young, seven points for the Panthers. Works. Hook shot. Kareem Made it look on easy. Reynolds. That's something we haven't seen from Mike Young. But it looked pretty. Phil's working against Jeter. He'll take the contested jumper, no good. Rebound to Artis. Panthers looking to make a run. Deep pass to Jeter. Good catch and down for the Bulldogs is Blake Reynolds holding his knee. I believe it's his ankle. We'll get a timeout. As you see Reynolds hobbling off. Looks like he turned it. As Downey will come in for Yale. And it, it appeared two Bulldogs collided on that alley-oop pass. Good catch and finish by Jeter. And good look ahead by the Panthers as Kithcart comes in for Kevin Stallings. Artis gets his first break. It's a second straight game for Yale at an ACC opponent. So right now we're watching Blake Reynolds go to the end of the bench and get worked on. Cross of, oh, good steal by Sheldon Jeter. His seventh on the year, and he finishes. It's a one-point game. Jeter leads the Panthers in steals and does it 
right there. He has those long arms, a lot of length. Crossover by Anderson. Yale's lead down to one. It's a six nothing run for the Panthers. Anderson gives up the dribble to Williams. Fills as he's tied up and steps out of bounds. Turnover by Yale will be Panther basketball, but Copeland has been solid for the Bulldogs. You see him inside, and Copeland can also do it outside. It's a one point lead for Yale. Discover card. I'm not a customer, but I'm calling about that credit scorecard. Give it. Oh, sure. It's free for everyone. Oh, well, that's nice. And checking your score won't hurt your credit. Oh! I'm so proud of you. Well, thank you. Get your free credit scorecard at discover.com, even if you're not a customer. led by Sheldon Jeter. Well, he's missed a couple jump shots. He's figured it out. Well, let me try to take the ball to the rim as you saw him finish there and the nice poke here and gets to the rim and acrobatic layup, Sheldon Jeter. Nice look as you saw Oni who had his pocket picked. Frustrated there for the Bulldogs as Jeter was able to hang and get past Downey. Panthers now trail by one. Panthers nine of 24 from the floor, Yale. Eight of 18, you see Jeter with four points, three rebounds. And one of the things that's hurt Jeter recently has been foul trouble. He has one so far tonight. Well, the other thing that I'm sure Coach Stallings has to be happy with, and obviously with 7.38 to go in the first half, they only have two turnovers, done a good job of protecting the basketball. Kevin Stallings wasn't gonna try to fool us or fool anybody. He said they're gonna have to play their game to beat this Yale team. Mike Young with 11 points. He's a man. Dallier Anderson fills Williams and Downey in for the Bulldogs. Downey there, double team. Kick to Williams, right down low to Anderson who lays it up and in. Good look. Caught Cam Johnson sleeping. He didn't know whether to go out to defend the perimeter guy or stay on the block. Wrong choice. You get the feeling right now there's a little Loss of confidence with Cam Johnson. Well, he's coming off of a tough game against Marquette where he was 0 for 3 from the field. Didn't get many shots, and Coach Stallings talked about getting him more looks, uh, running more sets for him, and tonight he's already 0 for 2 with an open look. Not there down. is an open look, and that will restore some confidence. A deep three. Right on cue. And a Panther lead for the first time in a few minutes, 24-22. Jamel Artis about to check back in and some zone for the Panthers. Good look down low, kick out. Dallier from three, right there. Anthony Dallier who spent two years at North Allegheny High School here in the Pittsburgh area. Well, he only spent two years there, but he's still one of the all-time leading scorers in North Allegheny history. I had an opportunity to watch this young man play as a kid, and he was a solid basketball player for North Allegheny. And that's amazing because it was freshman and sophomore years, not two years as a junior and, and senior. Right. Young, matches. He's feeling it. Michael Young. ACC Player of the Week, two straight weeks. I don't know how many players have done it two weeks. He's working on three. Yes, he is. Dahlia directing the offense. Crossover on Jones is trapped. Williams, he'll try the three. Good form, rounded out, rebound to Young. Tough break, that went down and came out. One point lead for Pitt, Sheldon Jeter. It's the thing with Jeter, if he gets some ISO on that block, he, got, he has to react quick. Can't and wait on a double team. Foul on the floor as Jones appeared to maybe twist the ankle a bit. Looks like he tweaked it a little bit. He's walking around and Kithcart will go out and here comes Jamel Artis. Justice Kithcart 
been the number one freshman and really the seventh guy off the bench so far for Kevin Stallings. Well, he's done a nice job backing up artists at the point guard position. And we talked to a coach a little bit the other day, and he said that he just needs to understand he's not in high school and he can't do the same things he did in high school. He has to be a lot, lot more um, thoughtful in his shot selection and understand time and possession. And uh, he'll get better because he has a great coach teaching him. Foul on Williams there against Young. And a five-second violation on the Panthers. I don't think they were quite sure what set they were going to run, what OB they were going to run. And the inbound. Boston. Dallier not looking, but he's able to grab it. And I want to get back to Kithcart in a second. As Yale has possession of the basketball. Johnson against Downey. Downey, righty hook, no good. Rebound, tapped and controlled by Young, but that's after a foul on Williams, his Williams second. Over the back. You know, when you're a freshman, you're the man in high school. How tough is that first semester when you realize that your role and what you did in high school is no longer applicable in college, at least right away? Well, physically, <clears throat> you realize that there's a difference, but mentally you don't. You continue to try to do the same things you did on a high school level. But midway, a little before midway through the season, you understand that it's a different level. and You have to, have to elevate your play, get your body more physically ready and capable to play on this level. He'll figure it out. A miss three from Young. Yale with the basketball halfway through the shot clock. Anderson to Reynolds, and it's good to see Reynolds is all right. And off to Dahlier. Dahlier stops, fills, no good, and rebound controlled by Mike Young. And he'll just bring it the whole way to Artis. Kick, Jones, fake, drive, no good. And we had four guys from Yale around that basketball. Phil's already with his fourth rebound. Back door, Downey rejected by the Panthers. Young, he'll take that shot. It's been a layup for him. And no good, Phil's with yet another rebound. I think it was too open there. 26-25 Panthers, under four minutes to go here in the first half. Two teams that average over 70 points a game, well over 70 points a game. It's been a low scoring, well defensive, good defensive first half and a foul on the floor on Cam Johnson. So Johnson picks up the foul as Panthers lead by one here in Pittsburgh. This is the one. The one from her favorite movie. The one for an adventurer. The one she's been eyeing all year. Happiness is, happiness is, different things to different people. The gift they're waiting for is waiting on eBay. That's what happiness is. New, unique, and everything in between. Find it, add it, get it fast. Men need to prepare themselves. Nivea Men Cream. Super fast absorbing and non greasy. Nivea makes you feel good in your skin. Nivea Men Cream. Crafted just for you. Nivea Men. It starts with you. Get your free sample at NiveaMenUSA.com. Shop for brand new pit merchandise and game day apparel from the official Panthers team store, including new outerwear just in time for the fall. Check out all the new pit script gear by shopping online at pittsburghpanthers.com or come visit us inside the lobby of the Peterson Events Center. I love the new look, man. It is solid. Sweet. Saw the football team last week, had the old school uniforms. Just a they, classic football look. And they took care of business. Yes, they did. A 40-point win over the Blue Devils. It's senior night for the Panthers for senior afternoon. A 12.30 kick against Syracuse on Saturday. We see James Jones 
His team only down a point. Alex Copeland running the show. Only non-starter in for Yale. Bowyer is going to drive the baseline, kick it out. Had two guys open for three. Anderson's going to take that one and miss it. Or excuse me, Reynolds will take that one and miss it. Panther rebound. Jamel Artis, good crossover in the left. They lay up. Jamel Artis. It's hard to stop that when he's going downhill at 6'7", and his ability to use both hands as you see him finish with the left hand. Reynolds. To Oni. 15 on the shot clock. The Bulldogs down three. One of the things that Yale does, Jack, is they move the basketball. They keep you working deep into the shot clock, and you cannot lose sight of where they are because they one through five can knock down the tray. It's been a tough night for Reynolds. Now 0 for 2 from 3, but both were good looks, and both were just inches, if not an inch, from falling. Damon Wilson has checked in for the Panthers. As you see him running down the top of your screen. Artist to Young. Young working on Downey. Wilson passes up the shot. Still 10 on the shot clock. Mike Young. It was a good decision there by Wilson, not to force. Mike Young from the top of the key. Got the look that they wanted. It was a good decision for Wilson not to take that shot, but as a guard, you can't pick your dribble up. You got to keep that ball alive. 15 points, eight rebounds for Young here in the first half. Drive by Copeland. Kick out and Oni with the three, no good. Rebound to Young. Here come the Panthers. Young. Nearly a minute to go here in the first half. Good head fake by Jones. And Jones unable to find rim. Copeland the rebound. Oh, good defense there by Jones. Nearly caught Oni. And a timeout. The use it or lose it timeout. Yep. Pitt still has theirs as well. We see James Jones, Jamel Artis, and Mike Young, Curtis. 21 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. It's been standard so far this year. Well, the coaching staff and everyone in this building know who's the go-to guys on this Pitt basketball team, but at least the games that they've had so far, no one can was able to stop these two guys. And uh, they play so well together. Very unselfish, and they both improve different aspects of their game. When you think about Artis, this, he could not handle the basketball a year ago the way that he does now. Much improved in that area. You think about Mike Young, his ability now to step outside of the three and face the basket and knock down that shot and be a threat. You know, with those guys playing, with those different uh, components added to their game, just makes them that much more better and that much more dangerous. It's a five-point lead for the Panthers. Oni will inbound. And now they're going to switch to Downey to inbound. Downey to Dowyer. Guarded by Artis. Artis extending that defense all the way out to the 20, 28 foot line. Copeland crossover, five on the clock. Fade away, no good, rebound tipped and controlled by Downey who lays it up and in. Panthers still have a timeout to take if they wish. That was all positioning by Downey. And they will take the timeout. Panthers a three point lead and have an opportunity to drop a play here before the end of the first half. We see James Jones and imagine he's Pleased after a tough game at Virginia, yes. where a Virginia team that just wears you out offensively and defensively. We see Jones talking to his team, and well, Downey understands that he doesn't have the physical, athletic ability to outjump a guy by like Sheldon, but it's all about position, as you see him with a nice put back there. Yeah, Reynolds with the tip, and Downey able to control and then put it home. Downey, the sophomore from Illinois. This is a Yale team. As well we see the six points and two rebounds. Start two sophomores, a freshman, and two seniors. Again, it's, here's a team that lost 
their best player for the year to turf toe. How about the level of respect that Coach Stallings has for Coach James Jones? You know, he, he told us earlier today that he's an excellent coach and has a great deal of respect for not what just what he's accomplished, but what he's going to accomplish in terms of his career. And they come out in his own for, I believe, the first time tonight. A matchup zone. Mike Young to Artis. Artis, drive, turn around. Good. Jamel Artis. Makes it look easy. With the late hoop. Copeland has an opportunity, drives. And a foul call, a blocking foul, and a three-point opportunity wow. for the Bulldogs. With point four to go. The patience shown there by Copeland. Makes it a three-point game. Let's take a look here. Uh, not a bad call. And you know, a lot of those are 50-50 calls. and. Copeland. I thought Cam Johnson was moving just a little bit. Copeland finishes the three-point play with .4 on the clock. Inbounds to Johnson, and that three just short. As the Panthers have a two-point lead at halftime, Copeland off the bench. Ten points for the Bulldogs. And for the Panthers, Jamel Artis coming right at you as the Panthers hold a two-point lead halftime here in Pittsburgh. John Baptiste has mastered new ways to play old classics. With Chase ATMs, he can master new ways to deposit checks too. Easy to use Chase technology for whatever you're trying to master. How to go live if you're not an athlete, but today, you're a winner. Hey. How's your team doing? And by your team, we mean the team whose jersey you own. Good enough for us, because a win's a win. You know what else a win is? A chance to revel in the victory. So pull out your phone, hit this, then this, and go live. Look, this is a big win for you. And now, whether they knew it or not, it's a big win for your friends too. Welcome back to the Peterson Events Center. As you look at the Pete right now, it had a very much different look just a few months ago. It has undergone quite a transformation here in Pittsburgh. When you walk into the arena and you see that big pit script in the middle of the court, it, it is so impressive. I mean, it's the wow factor that you're looking for in your arena. From top to bottom, it's just an incredible place and we're, we're so thrilled the way it turned out. So I love the two-tone. It really emphasizes, it brings a lot of pop to the court itself. Even the NBA basketball hoops, it just feels big time. I mean, Pitt is it. I definitely feel fresh. It feel like a new environment and I know it's gonna be crazy in there when the fans, people get there. And it makes you go out there and wanna play harder uh, when you got a good court and you know, different pit scripts and different uniforms. look around our facilities and we're, we're rebranding everything we do, we want to bring attention to the eye of the prospective recruit and, and our current student athletes. And um, so we needed some wow factor and we really captured that. And that's what that practice gym was all about, to bring some wow factor to it and then celebrate our history. We've got a, a phenomenal history. So the pros and the other historical markers that we've represented in the gym came through in, in a really good way. Our locker room and team room, uh, they're amazing. It, it's really their space, and when you bring recruits in there, it's impressive. We have the big pit script now in the middle of our carpet, and you know we're just thrilled with the way it turned out. And you know it's it's really a place that they call home. The, the new locker room, it, you get the best of both worlds. You have a locker room side where you go in and you get changed, you know, talk about practice or something like that. But it's kind of like when you leave there, you can just kind of feel the vibe change to where it's more chill, laid back. I think just the, the script and the newness, uh, the change, I, I think that the, uh, 
uh, the zoo will embrace it and love it. I, I think our entire fan base will love it and, and um, all of our players loved what they saw, uh, loved the way it came out, as did our coaching staff. So uh, I'm very positive and very encouraged that, that people will, will think highly of it as we do. Uh, but I think it looks as good as any college basketball floor that I've ever seen. A great look inside the Peterson Event Center. A look from the athletes' eyes. We'll continue. We have out-of-town scores, stats, and more. Halftime here at the Peak. United States Postal Service, we deliver more online purchases to homes than anyone else in the country. And more hippopotamuses, too. So whatever your holiday priority, our priority is you. Sweden's greetings. We're bringing more merriment to the holiday season with a special offer on a brand new Volvo. Each comes equipped with standard features, like engine remote start to keep you warm this winter and built-in Wi-Fi so you stay connected. Wherever your holiday travels may take you, get there in a brand new Volvo. It's our way of wishing you happy holidays this year. Get three months on us when you purchase or lease a new Volvo. Welcome back to the Peterson Event Center. We've started the second half. No, not really. These are some school children getting an opportunity to perform here at the Peterson Event Center as we look at some other scores from today. As Panthers lead it here, 32 to 30 at halftime. Notre Dame, a close one with Northwestern there in the second. In the first, Syracuse, an 11-point lead over South Carolina State. Boston College leads Towson by nine. Look at that Virginia score. You know, they knew from Yale how tough Virginia could be. A 40-point lead over Grambling State. Early on, Georgia Tech leads Sam Houston. Oklahoma State and North Carolina, good road game challenge for North Carolina. Panthers lead by two in your upcoming schedule for the Panthers coming up Friday against Moorhead State, then at Maryland, the ACC Big Ten Challenge, then a game at Duquesne at the arena downtown here in Pittsburgh, Buffalo on the 7th, and then Penn State in New Jersey on December 10th. All upcoming for the Panthers. When we come back, we'll have halftime stats, highlights to come. It's a 32-30 game at the Peterson Event Center. I'm gonna ask Steffi to marry me. And I'm gonna keep blessing. <laughs> yeah. No. Give me a few days to win you over. Flemings, I'm gonna give you a little love all over your faces. Not sure how to interpret that. I remember being that age, don't you? Always ready. I can, I can, I can, I can. Ta-da! Is that our Christmas card? It says, Happy Holidays. Wait, what? Well, this is a good thing I like Christmas. I think it's going great. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a different vibe. Why him? There's an ocean filled with creatures who... Daddy, how big is a blue whale? Hmm. Okay, Google, how big is a blue whale? Blue whale typically has a weight of 300,000 pounds. Huh. 
An ocean filled with creatures. Oh, who's... this is where mom does a big well noise. Well noise? Okay, Google, what noise does a well make? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. An ocean filled with... Well sleep. Okay, Google, do well sleep? Panthers up a bucket as we get set for the second half in Pittsburgh. Thirty-six hours ago, you were Jeff and Susan. Now, you're mom and dad. But you've got this. You read the baby manuals, you baby-proofed the house, bought yourself a safe SUV, and you're totally ready for this. Right? The Mazda CX-5. Hotels.com's rewards program is simple. For every 10 nights I stay, I get one free. Cell phone, Captain Obvious. This, on the other hand, will not be simple. You're going to have to ride the belt. Hotels.com. So simple, it's the obvious choice. I have liquids in my body. Getting ready for the start of the second half here at the Peterson Event Center. Jeff Hathorn and Curtis Aiken as the Panthers lead by two over the Yale Bulldogs. And it's really been a back and forth first half so far here in Pittsburgh. Well, I thought both teams played extremely high, very few turnovers. And, you know, if you think about the Panthers and what they're doing from an offensive standpoint, it really starts with Mike Young and, and uh, Jamel Artis. As you see, Young knocked down a baseline jump shot. He's been hitting that with regularity, stepping outside almost to three. Straight away jump shot by Mike Young. Young with 15 points and Artis with the defense. He gets the steal, collects, and scores. Jamel Artis in the first half with eight. Offensive rebound here by Downey. Downey's able to put it back, and then Copeland took over. Well, that was all about position for Downey, but you're right. Copeland took over, did a nice job of body control there. Pick up a big bucket that converted into three points at the end of the first half. And Maya Oni with nine as well. So 10 points for Copeland, nine for Oni as head coach Kevin Stallings. You want an explanation on that charge call? Well, I think he took exception to one of the referees that he asked him a question, he kept walking. And then when the other referee decided to give him a little love, the other one comes back and said, well, no, I don't want to talk to you now. <laughs> Panthers are plus three in rebounds. Turnovers, only eight total in this game. As you see the assist and steal numbers couple of steals for each side. So for start with the Yale Bulldogs. Imagine you feel pretty good being down two at half. What did you like about their first half? Well, I like their spacing. I like the fact that they worked Panthers deep into the shot clock. They made them play defense, you know, with five, six, seven seconds left on the shot clock. Most good, most even good teams break down after the first, you know, 20 seconds. And, um, you know, the Panthers have to maintain that discipline defensively. For the Panthers, 32-30 lead as we look at the impact players in the first half. Mike Young, 15 points, nearly a double-double and a half. Sam Downey, six points and two rebounds. But Downey has made an impact defensively. You can see him alter a couple of shots. But Mike Young offensively has been dominant of those two players. Before the Panthers put that two-point lead, what was Kevin Stallings telling his team? Well, I think, you know, they, it, it, just what I said, you, there's been some breakdowns defensively, and Yale has made them pay when they've had those breakdowns. So they just have to stay solid defensively throughout the whole possession of, the, of that particular set. And obviously on the offensive end, continue to run their stuff. And when they run their stuff through Mike Young, they're a much better team. It will be Yale basketball, assuming somebody decides to inbound it. And we will have somebody inbound the basketball and start the second half here in Pittsburgh. The lineup's the same for each team that started the game. Oh, good move by Downey. He gets the edge, drives, and scores. Really nice move, and it was all about body and positioning. A tie ball game. We saw Yale take a seven point lead. The Panthers held a lead of five. As we see Artis stripped, he gets it back, and a foul call on the Bulldogs. Nice play by Artis to stay with it.
personal fouls, that's just the tenth in this game. So we mentioned it's been a really well played game. Not very many fouls, not very many turnovers. See if they can maintain that through the second half, both squads. Jamel Artis at the line. And makes the first one. And with his nine points, he has passed my partner Curtis Aiken on the all-time pit scoring <laughs> list. Happy to be on the list. A magnificent career for both. No question. Makes it look easy. Artis hits two. It's a two-point Panther lead. And that's He passed you with, what, 2,500 points? Is that right, yeah, Curtis? I, I wish that were the case. <laughs> Dollar back door, good look to Oni, and he uses the left hand to finish. Oni has had a really nice game so far. That's his 11th point. Oni, the freshman out of California, really burst onto the scene for the Bulldogs. Coach James Jones was telling us before the game they have two of their better players injured. He said he wishes he could start the game by saying, okay, my best two are out, so your best two have to sit as well. <laughs> so you see Cam Johnson drive the lane. The jumper's not falling except for one three, so Johnson gets aggressive and does drive the lane, picks up the foul call. I really like this kid here. He has a high basketball IQ. Obviously an outstanding shooter, but he's starting to develop the other aspects of his game in terms of improving this ability to put the ball on the floor, and he's really doing a nice job of distributing the basketball as well. Panthers four of four from the line. Now five of five, and Yale made their only free throw attempt. Let's go, let's go. So the little, little details have been done fairly well by each team, low turnovers, Panthers taking come pretty out good shots. 1-3-1. Uh, Blake Reynolds gets it over to Phils. Phils did not score in the first half. And really, when Copeland got hot, that ate into a lot of Phils' time. This is Dallier, two assists in the first half. Deep jumper, no good by Oni, and a foul on Dallier. Now that's Dallier's third. Some nice rebound by Arders. That's a tough foul because they like to run a lot of things through Dallier. That was a good effort. And uh, tell you, he probably should have went underneath as opposed to over the top. He would have had an opportunity to get a steal there. An obvious foul call. Good call. Former North Allegheny player. Kick out. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound to Oni. Well, those two guys are roommates, so I would think they would know each other are at all times on the court. Nice dribble penetration by Young and good find. Wasn't able to knock it down. Good look down low to Reynolds, but Reynolds unable to find an open man. Copeland gets it down low to Downey. Downey's going to work on Jeter. Righty hook. No good. Ball tipped. Control by Jeter. Good job. Quickly come the Panthers. Michael Young behind his back to Artis. Finishes in the foul. <laughs> That's two on two basketball. Young had options here. Found the right one. Good finish with the left hand by Artis. Artis at the line to finish the three-point play. Now 12 points. The thing I like about this kid in, in, in terms of his ability to score the basketball, he lets the game come to him. Mike Young has to be more aggressive. He's that guy, and he goes and gets his buckets. But you look up at the end of the game, and Artis has his 18 points and you know, six assists. Excellent basketball player. It has matched its largest lead at five. Panthers man-to-man, -man, and it's a switching man-to-man. -man. Reynolds from three, right there, Blake Reynolds. He missed a couple in the first half, but he wasn't shy of taking that one. A good open look, and he buries it. Johnson over to Young, 15 on the shot clock. Young crossover, drive, score, and a foul. Mm. Another three-point opportunity for the Panthers. And he is giving it to him. Mike Young, 17 <laughs> points. We look at this play, See, Curtis. Okay, I could have took the J. I'll put it on the floor, take the contact, and finish over the top. Pick your poison. Man, is he special. 
That's now five fouls on Yale here in the second half. None on the Panthers as Young finishes the three-point opportunity. It's back to a five-point game. Kick out, wide open is Oni, that's short. Rebound to Artis. Panthers up five, here comes Artis. Thought about that three, it's a deep two for Jeter, no good. And Kevin Stallings for a second look down his bench, decided to keep Jeter in there. Copeland, controlling the ball. Over to Reynolds, to Phils. Copeland with 11 on the shot clock. Guarded by Jeter. Thought about taking him off the dribble. Reynolds had the ball knocked away. He gets it to Copeland. Copeland, one on the shot clock. Recognizes, fires off the Never hit backboard. The back, never no hit the good, no shot, shot clock stop, but here come the Panthers. Sheldon Jeter. In the drive, loses control for a second, gets it to Young. Young. Shut up, coach! Good handwork. Drive by Chris Jones. Copeland and the Yale Bulldogs now trailing by seven. Wide open shot from Phils. That doesn't fall. Rebound knocked out of bounds, and it will be Yale basketball. Pitt Panthers lead by seven. Thanks to Jamel Artis, 13 points, three rebounds, and the nice feed from Young. What if I told you there's a secret fantasy league where six NFL superstars draft everyday guys? What? You heard me. Are you crazy, bro? No. And it's in Drew Brees' basement. Man, I don't want to talk about it. Sensitive. Oh, and did we mention the soup? So, so much soup. About to go off. The Everyman All-Star League, fueled by the power of Campbell's Chunky Soup. This season, start a new tradition. Experience the power of infinity now with leases starting at $319 a month. Infinity, empower the drive. Panthers have a seven point lead thanks to their senior leaders. You saw Mike Young give it to Artis there, and now Mike Young's going to do it himself. Young, the finish, a three point opportunity that he buries. And Mike Young, 18 points. Jamel Artis, 13. You see it, they combine for 12 rebounds, five assists. And once again, it's another game for the Panthers where these two are far and away their leading scorers. We just saw the highlights of Mike Young putting the basketball on the floor. Not only has he improved in his ball handling, but he improved in his first step. His ability to get by the guy on the first step, left or right, much more explosive. 22 shot attempts for those two. The rest of the team has 17. Copeland. Tries to get the three-point opportunity himself. He can't finish, but will go to the line and shoot two. Foul on Young. Well, I, I like Coach Stalin's philosophy here when you talk about how many shots they're taking. You have to run your offense to your best players. And if they have opportunities, they got to take them. And I haven't seen either of those guys today, at least tonight, take a bad shot. You see Kevin Stallings. He's still looking for players seven, eight, and nine off that bench. You see Ryan Luther in the game right now. The free throw missed, but controlled by the Bulldogs. Trailing by six, an opportunity to cut more into the Panther lead. Ryan Luther, and for the first time, Jonathan Milligan in the game for the Panthers. And a foul down low on Cam Johnson as he was trying to front Reynolds. I don't like you! So Downey, like you, Oney, Reynolds, Copeland, and Phils as Johnson goes out, and here comes 
Chris Jones. Well, he's checked out of the game because it was his third foul, but he's already fouled out of the ball game this year so far. Good defense by Young as Yale looked for the back door. Bills and Copeland have some speed at the guard position. Bills down low to Reynolds. Reynolds quickly double teamed. The drive, kick, ball on the ground and controlled by Jones. An advantage for the Panthers if they push. Downey quickly back. Luther, he can hit that shot, decides not to take it. Young from the baseline, no good. And a rebound to Oney. To Copeland quickly the other way. And Yale fast the other way. A block, I believe, by Young or a loose ball grabbed by Milligan. Good hustle by Milligan. The Panthers slow it down. Keep the ball moving, young man. <laughs> Good tip by Jamel Artis. Offensive glass for Artis, his fourth rebound and now 15 points. Shot bounces around, rebound to Young. Now a double-double for Mike Young. And he controls the basketball to Jones. Drives on Downey, and that shot no good. Rebound to Reynolds. Coach Dollars wasn't happy with Jones forcing that shot there. He had a wide open Milligan in the, mid, in the corner, I should say. It's, it's got to be tough, Curtis, because those guys know that somebody else has to step up, but yet you can't force that shot. Right. Got to get in the flow. Oney drives on Young, kicks it out. Copeland, wide open. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound and a foul. Loose ball foul on Phils. Good call. Eight-point lead for the Panthers. 13-32 thir to go here in the second half. Justice Kithcart checks in for Milligan. Williams in for Yale for Downey. And Jeter is in for the Panthers for Young. Really respect Actually, Coach James Jones, how hard he has his team play. Actually, it's a small lineup for the Panthers right now. With Milligan, Kithcart, Jones, Jeter, and Luther. And Jeter's probably your five. Yeah, and you got two point guards on the floor. Milligan, three. Right there for Jonathan Milligan. It's good to see one go down for him because he's that one guy that they look to come off the bench to give him a spark in terms of Shooting the three ball. The red shirt transfer junior. The drive, and Oney tries for the three point play. It's a charging call on Jones, who didn't agree. Picks up his first foul of the game. It was a tough angle for us, Jeff, but it looks like he might have been inside of the arc a little bit. At the line is Oney. And the free throw is good. This year's Oakland Zoo holiday pack is now available starting at only $35. Choose from four home games, including pit against Notre Dame on New Year's Eve and an Oakland Zoo t-shirt just for you. For more information or to purchase your Oakland Zoo holiday pack, visit pittsburghpanthers.com. It's worth the shirt, if nothing else. <laughs> Be part of the club, and it, it's a shirt that changes every year. It's a new design for the zoo. So even if you own one, you don't own, own this one. And a chance to see Notre Dame. New Year's Let's Eve, go, before man. you get out and party, some party Let's with the go, Panthers, man. who Sounds lead like by nine. Ticket to me. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go. There's Milligan and Kithcart. It's an opportunity for them, really, to open some eyes as that jump shot misses, and an offensive rebound to Jeter. Unable to finish, but a foul on Yale. Now seven on the Bulldogs here in the second half. Third on Williams. It's interesting to see that <clears throat> Coach Stalin has young and artists out of the game at this time. You know, when the lead play starts, that's not going to happen very often because you know, from a point production standpoint, you need one of those guys in the game. Jeter misses the first free throw. This smells to me of, a, of an opportunity of, well, what if these guys get in foul trouble? How are these guys going to react? Let's see. Sure. And two free throw misses from Jeter. Good point, Jeff. It's 
It's a nine point lead for the Panthers here in Pittsburgh. ACC Ivy League matchup and a wild shot by Oni, no good. Oni, that was ugly. <laughs> and here comes Jones. No one stopped the ball, but they knocked it out of bounds. And it will be Panther ball with 25 on the shot clock. He might have bailed Jones out because he definitely was out of control. Yeah, he saw that lane was open. Kale is better than Yale. Ball knocked away, and Milligan will inbound for the Panthers. And gets it into Luther. Cheater travel. Yep. Both feet came off the floor and he hopped. Can't do that with the ball in your hand. No field goals for the Bulldogs in the last 519. It's the same problem they had against Virginia. They went nearly nine minutes scoreless in that game. We see foul issues, including Anthony Dallier, their starting point guard. Crossover, Oni. There's Dallier. Kicks it back out, Oni. To Williams. A pick. Copeland. Wild shot. He banks it home. Don't believe he got but it. But a off. shot clock violation. It was close. That shot won't count. And the Panther lead remains nine here in the second half. to be a Pitt Panther. Well, the Panthers went on a Panther challenge throughout campus for day one. You see all the different drills. There's a 45 pound plate they're holding. Running the stairs at Heinz Field was day two along with some other weight room stuff. And then some more work for Gary Christopher, the strength and conditioning coordinator. A large man, Curtis. And a nice man. Did I, you ever go around campus when in your playing days carrying weights and no, no, no. We had a guy by the name of Ray Oliver. They called him The Rock. And uh, he was probably half his height, but the same size. He was a big fella as well. Gary Christopher, really keeping it interesting for the Panthers. And really, what do you need for a workout to keep it going? Yeah, no question. Variety. I, I, I've watched him work out, and he does, a, 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 as you mentioned, a variety of things. And it's, they're fun things. And you look up, and a half an hour has passed, and you're having fun, but you've got a pretty good workout. So the Panthers... A nine-point lead and a drive down low, and yet another foul. And if that's on Williams, it's his fourth. On Copeland, so his first foul. You know, the other thing about Mike Young that Coach Stallings has to be pleased with is the fact that when you have your five guy, your, your big guys, four or five guys that can shoot the free throws as well as Mike Young can, uh, it's nothing, nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> that's right. We see Downey check in for Williams. Excellent free throw shooter. Bob barely hits the rim. It's a big time On arc it. from Mike Young. Nice touch for the big fella. Mike Young now with 11 career double doubles. Second of the season. We see Young, Luther, Kithcart, Jones, and Milligan for the Panthers. Panthers stay relatively small. The Yale Bulldogs, you see Downey there. The spin, move, and a good offensive rebound by Dallier. Reset of the shot clock for the Bulldogs. Dallier, Copeland, Anderson, Oney, and Downey. Pull up jumper, no good, and we've seen a cold Yale team here in the second half, ball loose on the floor, and a jump ball possession to Pitt. Seen Yale in this half struggle. Three of 13 now 
And just one for five from three where they were five of 12 in the first half. Now a little pressure from the Bulldogs. I think the lack of depth for Yale is starting to take its toll. Maybe what they had in Virginia as well, sure. same type of issue. Starting to get a little tired the second half. Panthers working the basketball around. 11 on the shot clock. Young drives. Opportunity for Kithcard to impress. He misses the three. Kithcard, no points. Now 0 for 2. He's played 12 minutes here in this game. As Artis gets up off the bench. Copeland against Luther. You see that switching man-to-man -man from the Panthers. Dallier's going to drive on Luther. Imagine they played some ball together in their life, or against each other at least. That was a little ping pong. Dallier, three-pointer, no good, and a good rebound by Downey. Went right Downey. over Kithcart. He went after that one. Downey with 11 points. It's been a scoring drought of nearly four minutes for the Panthers. And it continues. Rebound to Yale. Bulldogs down by nine. And that nearly four minutes is field goal. Of course, they made some free throws. Reynolds misses the hook shot. Rebound controlled by the Panthers. As Jones got it to Kithcart. Kithcart. Luther drives, lays it up and in right around Dallier. Ryan Luther's first bucket. It's a double digit lead for Pitt. See Anderson to Downey to Dallier. Milligan remains in there getting some extended minutes and a mismatch down low and Yale finds it. An easy hoop. It was easy because it was a very nice head and shoulder fake. Got him in the air and finished. It's a seven inch advantage for Downey. Panthers down low to Young. Young lefty layup, or lefty hook shot rather, up and in. Mike Young with 20. How solid is he, Jeff? Twenty-two points, ten rebounds for the Panthers senior. See Anderson drive and blocked by Luther and controlled by Jones. Luther had a couple of blocks against Marquette. He'll try the three and miss. Copeland the rebound. Bulldogs picked third in the Ivy League this year behind Princeton and Harvard. Of course, went to the NCAAs last year and had that thrilling win against Baylor last year. Where Makai Mason went for over 30 points. The three-pointer there for Dallier. Dallier. No quit in the Bulldogs. Stop Why are you cheering? Let's go, Pittsburgh! Let's go, Pittsburgh! Kith Cart. Jones, Jones drives and kicks. Milligan, he's going to do the same. Back to Luther. Luther blocked, and the ball knocked out of bounds. Will be pit ball. 11 on the shot clock. Substitutions coming as Anthony Dallier, the former North Allegheny Tiger, hits the three to keep Yale within shouting distance, down eight. Let's feed him to the sharks. Ah, let's feed him to the sharks. And take all of his gold. And take all of his gold. Ah! And hide it from the crew. Ah, they're all morons anyway. I never said that. They all smell bad too. No, you all smell wonderful. I smell bad. If you're a parrot, you repeat things. It's what you do. Ah! If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. Ah, it's what you do. They say the best gifts come from the heart. Nope, they come from the stomach. Give the gift of quality time with an Applebee's gift card and receive a $10 bonus card for yourself. Only at Applebee's. Opportunity for you to see the Panthers on ESPN. Women's basketball against Slippery Rock tomorrow and volleyball against Virginia Tech. 
And then men's basketball on Friday against Moorhead State. The Syracuse game, senior day at Heinz Field on ESPN. And women's basketball against Cornell also on Saturday. Mike Young, 22 points, 10 rebounds. Panthers lead it 55-47 from here in Pittsburgh. 6.55 to go. Each team with one loss so far on the season here at the Peterson Event Center. Jamel Artis, the turnaround, and he finishes. Artis with 17 points. That was a design play, an iso for Artis. It's a one-on-one, -on -one. everyone cleared out. Substitutions each way. Reset the lineups for you here in a second. Reynolds open from three and buries. Well, you can't Blake. trade. Can't trade twos for threes. Reynolds with six points, two of four from three. Seven point game. So it's Artis, Young, Jones, Jeter, and Johnson. Starting lineup for the Panthers. For Yale, it's pretty much the st three of the starters, along with Anderson and Copeland. Kick to Artis, that no good. Rebound to Anderson. Dallier leading the Yale Bulldogs down seven. Plenty of time here at the Pete. Reynolds feeling it, and he is. Blake Reynolds with nine. Two straight threes, and it's a four-point game. 5.38 to go, a lot of time. Panthers seemingly in control until this Yale run. But well, the adjustment that Yale made was they went back and now they're playing a straight up 2-3 zone with man-to-man -man principles closing out as Cam Johnson knocks down the tray, his second of the game. Johnson, two of three, eight points. Loose ball controlled by Downey. Yale is not going away. We've seen the pace pick up here in the last couple of minutes. Yale back in that zone. Kick out Johnson. He's going to try a second straight three. And it's Cam Johnson against Blake Reynolds. And the Panthers lead by eight. Johnson sets his feet. You can forget about it. There's Reynolds. Anderson's going to take the baseline. Jay, no good, but... Here's Reynolds again, this time on the offensive glass. Blake Reynolds with 11 points. Back to a seven point game. Johnson, he's gonna try a three. <laughs> it's amazing how this game works, Curtis. You can be cold as ice. And now Cam Johnson, three of four. He was getting clean look. So it was just a matter of time before he started knocking him down. An excellent shooter. Reynolds wants the ball. You see him over at the other wing. And a foul call on the Panthers. Just their fourth. On the floor. Ball on, foul on Jamel Artis, his first of the game. The Panthers lead by nine thanks to a flurry by Camp Johnson. Next time on the We Know Game Show, Antonio Brown, my brother, I need you to bless the We Know Game Show. I got you, my brother. Hector, you inspire so many people. I need you to bless the wall of game. That's how you win. This car wasn't made in Detroit or Tokyo or Mexico City. This, the mini Clubman, was crafted in Oxford, England a place where mass production isn't all that massive. And each car is engineered, customized, tuned, and crafted one at a time. The Mini Clubman, made in Oxford. Cam Johnson leading the Panthers, red hot from three, Curtis. Sign of a good shooter is you never know whether it's the same shot or not because he shoots it the same way. Different areas on the court, but same result. Knocked down by Cam Johnson. It's like he's going around the world. 
nothing but net for Pam Johnson. Well, he's, a, he's a good shooter to begin with, but he's a great shooter if he can catch the ball in rhythm. As you saw there, those three jump shots were all in rhythm. The red shirt sophomore, 14 points and three rebounds after a rough start and really a rough game against Marquette. Johnson, when the Panthers needed a score, has stepped up. Well, all good shooters have short memories, so you can't worry about the last shot. It's all about the next shot. Phil is back in the game. Drives and scores on Chris Jones. Wasn't pretty, but good results. Back to a seven-point game. And now you see them close out on Johnson. Ball to Jones. He holds before the trap comes. Luther down low. There's Artis. Artis thought of three, got it to Johnson. Jones, Luther. Luther down low. Jones. Boy, ball worked for the Panthers, and with two seconds left on the shot clock, a foul call on the Bulldogs. Well, that couldn't have worked any better for the Panthers because he's automatic from the free throw line. He worked the shot clock all the way down, up seven points. We see that Yale scoring all four in double figures, and it's what you've seen all year from the Yale team, and Anthony Dollar averaging just below 10. That's a team that's missing, as we mentioned, likely the Ivy League Player of the Year, Makai Mason. And yet they're coming out, playing hard every night. Big win at Washington. And now trailing by eight here in Pittsburgh. Bowyer drives and Mike Young sends it into the seats. <laughs> Timed that one well. Watch Dowyer thinks he's got something and Mike Young says no or something to that effect. Inbounds, Dowyer gets it to Reynolds. You see Artis quickly getting out on Reynolds. Yes. Bills drives. And it's kind of hung out to dry there in the air. And the ball out of bounds. On the baseline. Well, you see him drive. He gets stuck under the basket there, Curtis, and didn't have options. Well, that's what happens when you leave your feet. It's a nine-point lead for the Panthers. 2.40 to go. Panthers look to improve to four and one. Yale looking for some magic. Johnson fakes the three to Artis. Artis, turnaround, baseline, no good. Rebound to Downey. Downey loses it as Ryan Luther <laughs> knocks it out of bounds, but good hustle yeah. by Luther, hits the floor. Both teams like to see guys get on the floor and get after it. Good hustle. Ryan Luther, the most consistent player off the bench for the Panthers. Yeah, not a big night tonight, but I think, you know, I agree, he is one of the most consistent. I mean, he gives it to you every night on the offensive end, defensive end, tough kid. Kevin Stalling said what he likes about the Hampton grad is whether he's one minute or 25, he's the same guy. He takes advantage of his opportunity. Yep, same effort. And you see Yale maybe looking for to get a three up here. Copeland's going to drive instead, kick out. Oni, no good, rebound to Luther. Over to Artis, we're under two minutes to go. Artis against Downey, lefty, no good, rebound, knocked around, out of bounds, saved and controlled by Oni. Copeland, wide, open from three, hits it. It's now a six point game, a two possession game with 1.41 to go. Panthers lead it but only by six in Pittsburgh. Rule number 46, it's rude to shout. Okay, but rule number 67, it's impolite to whisper. Get a free ZTE Maven 2 smartphone from AT&T Go Phone. It's the season for giving. No annual contract or credit check, all on the AT&T 4G LTE network. Get a free ZTE Maven 2 with a new line of service and minimum $30 payment. Offer ends December 31st, 2016. See att.com slash gophone for details. 
Once again, it is Michael Young leading the Panthers here in Pittsburgh. Well, how about Mike? The first half, he showed you what he can do in terms of playing outside, shooting jump shots, and doing his thing from the perimeter. But the second half has been all inside for him, as you see the left-hand hook there, and showing that he can play some defense in the interior as well as he smacks Dario's shot in the bleachers. Big swat as you see Michael Young with 24 points. Jamel Artis with 17. They have combined to go 16 of 30 from the floor. They combined for 15 rebounds and seven assists as well. It's said often, but it truly is a dynamic duo with those two. Panthers inbound and there's the trap and a foul quickly as Luther will go to the line and shoot two. That's the 10th foul on the Yale Bulldogs. That's Downey's third foul. Well, I, I, I really believe that the rest referee was just anticipating the foul there. And as you see, Coach James Jones wasn't looking to foul. Didn't think it was a foul. It happened right in front of him. They were just trying to get some ball pressure and see if the Panthers would cough it up without a foul. Ryan Luther, two points and one of four. And Luther hits the free throw. Ryan Luther with three as Alex Copeland checks in for Trey Phils. And Luther hits two. Lead back up to eight. This is a Yale team that can shoot the three. They've made 10 of them here tonight. Copeland's gonna drive though and take the easy two and get a three point opportunity. I think Artis here just anticipating the pull up and he just exploded right by him. Good job to create contact and finish. Good Copeland's really played a nice game today. Good step there from Copeland. Copeland looking for point 16. Make this a five point game. And it rolls in. A lot of time left, Jeff. Inbound to Cam Johnson. And a near steal and out of bounds. And a discussion and a foul call on Yale. That's, that's it. it's his fourth. That's a tough call on Dallier. I think it was the his right fourth. call, though. Looked like he got all arm to me. Right here. It may have been off Dallier. I don't. But either way, Jones is going to the line with the Panthers. Up by five. And rolls around and out. Still a five point game. 127 to go. Panthers at the line of 13 of 17. I love how arenas can be so loud and get so quiet. <laughs> Goes from Super Bowl to golf tournament. Six point lead for the Panthers. And a little zone for Pitt. Oni from the corner, round and out. That would have been a big three, but unable to finish. And Artis has the ball knocked out of bounds by Downey. And this angle looked like Artis threw the ball off of Downey's leg. Artis was in trouble there. Good heads up play. see Kevin Stallings talking to Jamel Artis and telling him to use that timeout. You have three timeouts left. We're going to take a look at this and so are the officials. Multiple players, they have to review it by rule. And I don't know if... Huh. It may have been yeah, off it looks like, uh, but did he hit it at the uh, end? I think that was a good call. I think that was off. I'm not sure if that was Reynolds or Downey. Just for the viewing the audience out there, the referee came over and explained to us the rule. By rule, when there's multiple players involved in a play, under two minutes to go, it's reviewable. And they're sticking with the call. It is Panther basketball. We appreciate the officials coming over and letting all of you know what's going on 
So many times you're guessing and wondering. And <laughs> Sometimes we're guessing, guessing and wondering. Inbounds for Pitt, six point lead. And good bounce pass entry to Cam Johnson, who Ooh. fires it over to Curtis Aiken, hey. which was not his <laughs> intended target. I could have uh, padded my stats a little bit if I had a <laughs> uniform on. <laughs> could have added a turn or an assist, rather. <laughs> One minute to go, six point lead for the Panthers. It's Copeland. Looking for a way to get free, inside to Downey. Downey, blocked by Young, his third of the half. Ah. We see Luther go down awkwardly. Okay. Yeah. Well. Hopefully Luther is okay, and we're gonna get a timeout for Yale. Good look down low, and Downey thinks he's got something, and Mike Young says, no you don't. Yeah, he'd been better served to try to finish that on his, the left-hand side of the basket. Played right into Mike Young's hand by bringing it to his side, and he swatted it. See Luther right there, it looks like he's okay. Yeah, yeah, it looked like he uh, slipped on a wet spot. So the Panthers up six. Pitt shooting 45% in this game, 46% this half, and Yale shooting 40%. Rebounds are dead even at 36. Really where Yale has an advantage, they've hit five more threes. But the Panthers have Artisan Young. Will be inbound for Yale, 18 on the shot clock. 52 seconds to go. And inbound, Reynolds drills the three. It is a three point game. That's why that young man there, I mean young man by coach, James Jones is such a great coach. How about that play he drew up there? Excellent OB. And a foul on Dallier. And the former North Allegheny player has fouled out of the game. How about this OB play here? Everyone's in sync. It's one of those deals where you pick and choose the right guy, and that they did, knocked down. Reynolds with 14 points, four of six from three. So we see James Jones talking to his team, and Trey Phils will check in for Dallier. Not the homecoming he was hoping for, but he still has an opportunity for the victory, which is probably more important than any points he would have scored in this game. No, no question about it. And with 48 seconds to go, there's still a lot of time left. You know, a lot of possessions left, and the Panthers have to be solid with the basketball and make their free throws. Panthers starting lineup with the exception of Luther in for Jeter. Artis makes the first free throw. Mel Artis, 4-4 four, four from the foul line. <laughs> Panthers lead is five. And, and the chess match begins. Timeout by Coach Stallings. Your opportunity to see the Panthers here on ESPN. Women's basketball against Slippery Rock tomorrow as, long, as well as volleyball against Virginia Tech. The men's basketball against Moorhead State on Friday and college football action against Syracuse and more women's basketball against Cornell coming up on Saturday. Kevin Wheeler leading most of that action on the play-by-play -play on ESPN. Am I going to miss you on Friday, buddy? I will see you in the next home game. I'll be involved in a wedding on Friday, so best of luck to you and Kevin. Well, we'll have fun, but we're going to miss you, buddy. Enjoy the wedding. Five-point lead for the Panthers. 48.7 to go, and some pressure on the inbound for the Panthers. The Panthers stay with that. A little bit more than token pressure for Pitt. Yeah, it really hasn't bothered. Yeah, they've done a good job of handling the basketball against the 1-3-1 one, one press. Yo needs a couple of scores and a foul by Artis. That's only the sixth on the Panthers. That's what they spent some time talking about in a timeout. Fouling, but at the right time, not in the act of shooting. 35 now to play. And the inbounds 
Copeland, there's Phils. Oney to Copeland. How deep would they shoot a three? Copeland trying to work a screen, but Artis is there. Down low, Downey lays it up and in. It's a three-point game. Inbounds for the Panthers with 22 to go. Young, trap coming, gets it to Cam Johnson. Time ticking for Yale, no foul. Artis has it, and a foul there by Oney, his first. Good job of getting the ball in the right guy's hands. Out of that group there, Chris Jones is probably the, uh, has the lowest percentage in terms of free throw shooting out on the court. Jamel Artis misses the free throw. It has not been easy for Kevin Stallings. A double overtime win here against Eastern Michigan. Yeah. And while they scored 99 against Gardner-Webb, an unhappy Kevin Stallings after that game at home. Now a four-point game. Critical free throw there for Martis. And a good trap here, and the Panthers using their length. Fills off balance, and a ball controlled by Cam Johnson and a foul on Oney. So Cam Johnson will go to the line. 2.3 to go. Panthers leading by four. Good hustle by Johnson. Cam Johnson, 14 points, two of two from the line. You see James Jones. He'll look forward to getting back home after a road trip that's seen them in Seattle, Washington, down in Virginia. They'll go close to home to Vermont for their next game as that one rattles out for Cam Johnson. Panthers has mentioned home to Moorhead State on Friday. Johnson makes the second. It's a five-point game. Inbound to Copeland. Copeland's going to drive. His three would have counted, but it doesn't go. Quite a game here between the Ivy League and ACC as you see the head coaches congratulating each other as the Panthers come out victorious by five points. So for Curtis Aiken, I'm Jeff Hathorn saying so long from Pittsburgh where the final score is Pitt 75 and Yale 70. To watch this entire game on replay as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.